Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching and today I'm actually extra excited that you guys are here with me because today I'm going to talk about this device that Synology have sent me, it's the DS1621 Plus which is an absolute beast of a device but it doesn't end there, they have also sent me a few other components I'll actually need my assistant for that Assistant, bring me the components please This was actually my wife so I'll be hearing a, a, a lot about it later on They've also sent me two of their NVMe SSD drives to be used as SSD caching and a 10 gig network card to be put on the PCI slot. We'll also upgrade the RAM of this device, we'll bring it up to 32 gigabytes of memory. And without any further delay, we are going to uh, uh, take out the device from the box. I'm not going to do an unboxing video, I find those really irrelevant. It's just a device taken out of a cardboard box. And we will start upgrading and see exactly how to upgrade everything that you can upgrade on this device. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so the device is unboxed. Here it is in all its glory. It's a 6-bay drive. And we also got our SSD drives. Our network card, which I love this network card because unlike SFP based network cards, this is a copper based, meaning an RJ45 network cable plugs right in and it's also compatible with 10 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes and 2.5 gigabytes link speeds. We also got our RAM modules right here, 16 gigabytes each. It's an, S it's an ECC SODIMS. Alright, so First thing is first, and I really recommend everyone that buys a Synology NES and wants to upgrade it right off the bat. I know that a lot of people buy, are buying NES device, and also along, along with it, the SSD caches or the network cards, etc., or the RAM. The first thing that you should do is plug in the, the, the device as is, take it out of the box, put some drives in it, and plug it in, see that it loads, install the operating system, do the updates, everything you need, and only then put in your upgrade, uh, upgrades uh, components. I have seen Synology models that if you install the components before even uh, power it on, powering it on, it doesn't accept them, it doesn't load. So power it on, see that it's not DOA or anything, that it loads, you can install the operating system, turn it off, and start the upgrade process. Now, in all upgrade processes that I do to Synology devices, first, the first thing that I do is to, is to take out all the bays, regardless if I need them or if I don't, if I have drives in them or, or if I don't, I take them out because I want as much working space inside the cavity that I can. I'll take the base and I'll put them aside. I want as much work, uh, workspace in, in the cavity. For example, in this uh, uh, model right here, the NVMe uh, 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 bays are right here. I'll bring it uh, 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 in a close-up later on. This is where you install the SSD NVMe drives. If I, haven't take, if I hadn't taken out the drive bays, I really had a, a, a harder time placing them in. So let's go ahead and unscrew also the uh, metal chassis of this device. We have six screws that we need to unscrew with a regular Phillips screwdriver, some screws right here. I'll of course uh, do a close up uh, of the screws uh, in a B-roll shot. So I'll take the screws out, I'll put them aside. All right, so all the screws are out. Now it's time to uh, uh, pull back the metal chassis and lift it. That's all you need to do, I'll place it aside. One more thing that I want to go ahead and do is to unscrew another uh, Phillips screw right here on the PCI shield right here. Now this screw is a bit different than the other six that we have unscrewed, so place it not together with the six other ones. And as you can see, there's a metal, some sort of a metal casing protecting 
the, SS, the PCI cavity, I'll put that aside. And now it's time to start assembling stuff. Let's take the 10 gig network card out of the box. That's the entire thing. A regular network card will, will be connected to this network card, regular RJ45. So I'll just take out the card and place it in the PCI slot. All right, I'll take the screw that we've unscrewed from the PCI shield and screw it back in. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and put in the NVMe drives. Let's take them out of the box. Very nice packaging from Synology. You can see this is the entire thing. Now, a lot of, a lot of people somehow uh, get confused and buy M.2 drives, and M.2 is, in, is indeed the form factor, but they're buying M.2 SATA drives and not M.2 NVMe drives. So make sure you get the right drives. Uh, uh, M.2 SATA drives have two uh, 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 holes in the, uh, in the top uh, 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 connector. NVMe drives have only one hole right here. So we'll take the drive, and actually uh, something that will help you, at least on Synology drives, the, uh, uh, the model sticker needs to, be, needs to face the wall, all right? So let's go ahead and insert it just like that, and push it in, and it locks into place. All right, so at this point, the M.2 drives are in fact placed right here. We can now close the metal chassis back on, just place it on top, push it a little forward, and now that it fits flush against the body, we can screw all the and screws back in. All right, so the device has been uh, put back together. Now we'll do the RAM, which sits underneath the device right here. We'll open up the RAM tray. Again, regular Phillips head screwdriver. Nothing more than that that you need. Take out the metal plate that covers the, the RAM slots. We'll take out the four gigabytes built-in uh, uh, Synology RAM module. Place it aside. Hold on to it, don't throw it away. Let's take out the RAM that we'll be upgrading to. By the way, I'm using, I admit it, and I, I, unsupported RAM that is not on the compatibility list. I am taking my own risk. This will probably void my warranty. Take that into account. It's your risk to take. All right, so regular RAM module in, in, in regards to the uh, form factor, except those are ECC. Just like upgrading the RAM from a laptop or something like that, same size, same mechanism, same method. All right, placing back the cover. All right, so in regards to uh, upgrading stuff, we're, com we're done. One thing that I like uh, as well, if you, uh, if you are used to Synology devices coming with a power brick, this device has a built-in power supply, so you'll just connect it to the power uh, uh, with the three uh, uh, connectors cable, and the power brick is inside, so it's much, let's say, 
cleaner to be placed in a rack or something. At this point, all we have to do is to put the drive base back in the slots and take this device, connect it to the power, connect it to the network and see that all our uh, components and, and devices are working. So that's what we're going to do next. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer. We have placed everything that we can place inside our NAS, our RAM, our network card, our NVMe drives. All we have left to do is to open up a web browser and log in directly to the NAS device. All right, now, I'm not going to be configuring anything right now. I just want to see, first of all, my 32 gigs in the info center. I want to see a fifth network card in the network section of the control panel. And I want to see my two NVMe drives in storage manager. Let's go right ahead, open control panel and go to info center. 32 gigabytes of memory. That's great. That's first mission completed. Let's go over to network, network interfaces. And indeed, here's our LAN 5. The device comes with built-in four network interfaces. And since we added a fifth one, here it is right here. Second mission completed just fine. Let's go over to the storage manager and go to HDD SSD. And in fact, here is our cache devices, our, N our Synology NVMe drives. In fact, let's go ahead and create an SSD cache, even though I just have just the one hard, hard drive in the hard drive base. Let's go over the process right now. Let's click on manage available drives. And it asks me, what do I want to do? I am going to select create SSD cache. I'm going to do read and write because I have two devices, two drives. I'm going to attach it on volume one. Let's click on next. I understand that everything will be wiped out. That's fine. Continue, RAID 1, exactly what I want. Let's select our two cache devices. Click on next. I'm going to use the max size that I can. I'm going to select pin all BTRFS metadata on the SSD cache. Enabling this feature can be uh, can help uh, improve the uh, the overall uh, uh, speediness of the system but it's something that i have not tested before and i have nowhere really to compare it uh, uh, so i am going to use it and just click on next click on apply click on ok and that's how easy it is to uh, uh, create an ssd cache uh, on Synology dsm version 7. Guys, that's it for this video. We are going to do a series of videos with the DS1621 Plus and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching.